Okay, so because I told a few people I would uh, show a recording of my wonderful tiny little apartment. This is going to be it and right now. This is uh, one of my views. I don't have an actual balcony, just a railing. But I do have two big doors that open up. There's Hunting Street. This is one of my windows. Now, here is my bed, my shark, an iPad, and over in the corner there is Ramirez, and a big bare wall, which I plan on filling, hopefully, sometime. Wardrobe, reading lights, uh, most of that wardrobe is actually filled with my husband's clothes and not mine. He's got two stacks of pants and I have one. <laughs> uh, towels. And there's the shopping trolley thing that I take to the store. And a suitcase because <laughs> it just doesn't fit anywhere. I'm worried about the suitcase so it's, yeah, the order goes on right now. Uh, laundry basket. And here's my desk where I spend a good portion of my time. Uh, my makeshift bookshelf, which is actually a drawer organizer from IKEA that I've turned into a bookshelf. And it's got, you know, books and things. Clutter stuffed in there. Uh, random stuff I use for crochet, a bit odds and ends, uh, knitting needles, and and stuff like that. Uh, drawing pad. Scary duct tape head form. Just cover that back up. Giant book that Paul's, well, my husband's co worker made for me, and it's quite big. Uh, those are, um, well, it's this stuff from my husband's work. He works at a, a game place and they give him free stuff sometimes. Uh, there's my monitor. And I'm working on a project right now. Uh, yeah. Here's my chair. And that pad thing there is a heating pad because I had a really bad back. And uh, hey, look, the rest of my apartment. How exciting, right? That's it. <laughs> so here's the living room and my broken couch, which I fixed and I have to fix every so often. Ikea chairs. And to get a more of a feel, yeah, that's, this is, this is the apartment. This is pretty much my husband's office. This is where he sits and does everything. Uh, yeah. Because his computer's under there and it's hooked up to the big TV. He also uses a little monitor, so uh, another big French door. And look, the things I have not taken care of since last year because I planted a bunch of stuff. Like those are chives, and I planted them last year, but they died because my husband and I went on holiday for a month, and um, they've come back. So some chives. Maybe I'll actually be able to use those this year. And a uh, map of Skyrim. There's a, um, a cardboard cutout thing I made. I don't know, I needed something on the wall. <gasps> and my kitchen! How exciting is this? Tiny little kitchen. Um, a table we pretty much use as just an extended island. Uh, the chairs are horribly uncomfortable and it's kind of a pain. And there's all the recycling I need to take down, glass and stuff. And this is my kitchen. Um, bread maker, microwave, toaster, <laughs> uh, water filter because the water here is so hard we have to filter everything even for boiling pasta. I have to use the water filter and my my cafetiere or French press, coffee press, whatever you want to call it. Um, this, if you can see that, that is actually a trash chute. 
uh, but we don't use it because it's gross. <laughs> so, um, no oven, just the burners, and really, really, really ugly um, orange walls. Yeah, <laughs> more uh, figures from my husband's job. But yeah, so <laughs> some soy mints, some couscous, oops, pepper. Uh, yeah, that's. That is my kitchen. Lovely, right? The, the doors never close, no matter what. They just kind of slide open. That, I don't know, it frustrates me for some reason. Um, there's the cracks in the ugly, <laughs> lovely tile, which always looks dirty, no matter how much I clean it. Uh, yeah. It's because there was nowhere else to put it, the other big window there that acts as a wall. I try to put like some poster things on it to make it look, you know, more wall-like and less window-like. <laughs> yeah, there's just nowhere else to put it. We did have, um, oops, did have the, um, the desk right behind the couch, but that took up a lot of this floor space, which really isn't much of a floor space. It's kind of warm tonight. So, uh, so it went over there, which was an idea, ideal, because I don't like things in front of windows. Uh, some rubbish I need to take down are uh, bathrobes. And this is a picture that I painted that um, I want to make a really big version of it for that wall over there. Yeah, I'll try not to move too quickly because I can be disorienting. Yay. Okay. Okay, this will be dark. Well, it's not that dark. Uh, I guess you want to call it a mud room. That the door goes out into the hallway of the apartment. Um, and our bathroom. It's hideous and scary. And the oh, look at this horrible, uh, peely, stupid. I've tried like I tried before, kind of like wiping it off. It's just the paint is peeling and cracking and. It's, we're not, we don't own this place, so we can't like scrape it off and paint it, it's their job. But they won't do that sort of thing, so I just get to deal with it. Originally, the bathroom here did not have... Now oh, this is probably going to cut off. Okay, so originally the bathroom here did not actually have a shower curtain. <laughs> so um, this was before my husband and I were married or whatever. Um, my husband's dad came and helped him install this lovely bar system. And if you can see this thing, oh, that thing is, um, it's supposed to have a rod that goes up to the ceiling. And, uh, but the ceiling's like solid concrete and they could not get the drill bit through. Tried, I guess, three different drill bits and they couldn't get it through. So it was hanging at this horrible angle for ages before I finally, you know, I've been here for like a year and I told him I needed this thing called, stuff called Sugru, which is amazing and I'll put a link down for it. And uh, I made a little ring and I put it onto the ceiling and waited for 24 hours and now I have a piece of waxed uh, thread that is holding it up. So no longer does it droop. <laughs> uh, it's sad, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So we don't have a medicine cabinet. That's not actually like hanging from the light. It just looks a bit like it, but I don't have a medicine cabinet, so most of the stuff's just kind of hanging out. And there's the mirror for it. And um, I don't have any shelving, so everything is also just sort of hanging out. All the great exposed pipes, and there isn't a toilet paper roll, so we have this towel rack and a radiator. I know, it's lovely, isn't it? So, oh, there's a, there's a mirror, yay. So all of our hooks, and well, I guess not hooks, but um, our coats, you can't really see them, but there they are. And, oh, yes, it's, uh, that's it, that's the grand tour, and I probably made the video even longer than it really needed to be because our apartment is that small. <laughs> yeah, so that's it.
One more look at the fantastic kitchen. Yep, that's our fridge. No oven, no dishwasher. Just two, as my husband calls them, hobs. And a microwave. It's a microwave grill. So, um, we can at least toast some stuff in it. Yeah. Alright. That's it. It's my lovely apartment. <laughs> Alright. Bye.